I just made five million dollars. Five million. That's five million dollars the past month investing. As you can see, I have more than 100 million dollars. Subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to make millions. Let me tell you about my day so far. Coffee in Paris, surfed the Maldives, took a little nap on Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh yeah, and I got digits from this Polish chick in Rio. And then I jumped back for the final quarter of the NBA Finals. Of course, out of course. And all that was before lunch. I could go on, but all I'm saying is, I'm standing on top of the world. Hey, everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about the company and the stock BSX, Boston Science. Now, is this company a buy, a sell, a crash? What is it? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video right here. Without no further ado, let's get started. The reason I think this company is not a buy and I recommend selling this company is because look where it is. The company is at, is around $40 right now. It's around $40 right now. We look at the five month chart the, the company looks good but now when you look at the, the the max chart of this company things are looking terrible why do I say that well look 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 over here what happened the last time this company was around 40 it crashed all the way down to down to around five bucks. Can you believe it? From 40 to five bucks. You would have lost almost all your money. And that's exactly what's going to happen in, right here that I am predicting. Now, when we look at the fundamentals, positive earnings per share, positive PE forward, and a positive PE ratio. But look at the outflow. This company is losing a lot. One thing about this company is that They've a certain proximity from the personification of redundant axioms presupposed upon tautological repetitions and enhance and enhance their paradoxical paradigm through redundant innovations. Warren Buffett, the billionaire investor, once said be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful by billionaire Warren Buffett and essentially what this means is when everybody when when traders are greedy they'll keep on buying and buying and buying and driving the price up and thinking that it's gonna keep on going up and up and up but eventually what ends up happening is it, the stock ends up tumbling back down to earth from the moon be 
because of greed and then a, and people that's how people lose a lot of money and when Warren Buffett says be greedy when others are fearful what he means is that when others are fearful because the stock plummets and everyone starts selling their stocks at a discount that's the time you want to start buying companies that's the right time to buy but usually people start selling people call it a crash and that word crash scares people really let's change it let's change the definition instead of crash let's call it let's call it a discount that's essentially what it is a discount that's really what it also all about so as we can see the fear and greed index by CNN what emotion is driving the market right now what emotion right now the greed driving the market right now and the reason for that is as we can see the McKellen volume summarization index measures advancing and declining volume on the New York Stock Exchange during the last month approximately 8.23 percent more of each day's volume has traded in advancing issues then in declining issues, pushing this indicator forward the upper end of its range for the last two years. And as we can see, the stock price strength, that was the breath. With the stock market, the stock price strength, the number of stocks hitting 52 week high, 52 weeks highs exceeds the number of hitting lows and is at the upper end of its range indicating extreme grade as we can see that's why the market kept going back up and up as we can see it's in the greed territory as we can look at the safe haven demand the difference in 20 day stock and bond returns stock have outperformed bonds by 2.92 percentage points during the last 20 trading days this is close to the strongest performance of stocks relative to bonds in the past two years and indicates investors and rotating with stocks from the relative safety of bonds. And when we look at the put and call options, the CBOE five day average, the put call ratio, during the last five trading days, volume and put at options has flagged volume, lag volume and call options by 36.82% as investors make bullish bets in their portfolios. However, this is among the lowest levels of put buying seen during the last two years indicating greed on the part of investors and when we look at the market volatility the VIX and its 50 day moving average the CBOE volatility index is at 15.72 this is neutral reading and indicates the market risks appears low and when we look at the junk bond market the yield spread between junk bonds versus the investment grades investors in low quality junk bonds are accepting 1.74 percentage points an additional yield over safer investment grade corporate bonds this spread is much 